Today, instead of our regular video presentation reflecting on the previous Sunday's sermon, I want to use this time to share with you a special video uh, from the, the Pride Committee of the California Pacific Annual Conference. I want to share with you this video as we continue to have conversations on who is welcome at the table of grace. I want us uh, to just take an opportunity to hear these voices, to, to hear the sermon, to, to interact with each other in conversations on what it means to truly live a life as proclaimed by John Wesley, that the world is our parish. When Matthew 28, when Jesus Christ proclaims to go ye therefore into all nations, Today, as we have this viewing of the pride service, I want us to hold those prayers. I want us to have conversations instead of arguments. And I want us to take a moment to inwardly just reflect on, on what it means to honor an open table and to take the message of Jesus Christ to all people and allow all people to celebrate in that message. Uh, please enjoy this presentation, and may the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. God is love. Amen. God is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. We have gathered to hear the story of God and God's people. It is a story of God's mercy and faithfulness. diverse community and we come together today to celebrate the differences which join together to make us whole. As God's beloved children, we are all created to be unique and it is this uniqueness which brings us together as one to form the body of Christ. The rainbow is used as a sign of the covenant between ourselves and God, a symbol of how we all come together in love and hope to work alongside God in creation. Particularly now, the rainbow is a sign of hope, of solidarity for all of our communities as we navigate our new normal. The Rainbow Christ Prayer will frame our service today and guide us as we meditate on the wonderful uniqueness of all and the diversity we share. Let us be in an attitude of prayer. Rainbow Christ, you embody all the colours of the world. Rainbows serve as bridges between different realms, heaven and earth, east and west, queer and non-queer. Inspire us to remember the values expressed in the rainbow flag of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and queer community. I will be your standing strong I will stand by you Red is
is for life, for the root of the Spirit. Living and self-loving Christ, you are our root. Free us from shame and grant us the grace for a healthy pride that we may follow our own inner light. With the red stripe of the rainbow, we give thanks that God created us just the way we are. I pray that we all truly believe that we are created just the way we are, with God's hands and fingers intricately part of that process, developing us and inspiring us and empowering us to be just the way we are. You matter. We all matter because we are children of God. We thank Christ for being our root and reminding us of our foundation that we can live freely knowing that we are loved and beloved. It's a good and holy thing always and forever to remember that we are important, that your life, your love, your faith is important. So we do give thanks this day with a red stripe on the rainbow and we give thanks to God for creating us just the way we are. I will be your standing stone. I will stand by you. Oranges for Sexuality, the Fire of Spirit. Erotic Christ, you are our fire, the Word made flesh. Free us from exploitation and grant us the grace of mutual relationships. With the orange stripe and the rainbow, kindle a fire of passion in us. What does it mean to be free? When the High Priestess of Soul, Nina Simone, was asked that question, she replied this way. She said, it's just a feeling. It's just a feeling. It's like, how do you tell somebody how it feels to be in love? How are you going to tell anybody who has not been in love how it feels to be in love? You cannot do it to save your life. You can describe things, but you can't tell them. But you know it when it happens. That's what it means to be free. As followers of Jesus in Christ, we know love and we know what it means to be free. There are those who don't know God's love and thus can't recognize it when they see it. But if you know the love of God, when your heart is strangely warmed by the grace of God, then you know freedom and you know love when you feel it and when you see it. Yet Howard Thurman reminds us that it's not enough to save the souls of individual people, but the relationships that exist between us must be saved also. We know God's love, God's grace, God's liberation in relationships for us, between us, and with each other, whether we are straight, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer. We know and feel with head and heart that in God's love we are set free and others must be set free as well. We who Christ has set free are free indeed. Thanks be to God. Amen. I will be your standing stone. I will stand by you. Yellow is for self-esteem, the core of spirit. Out Christ, you are our core. Free us from closets of secrecy and give us the guts and grace to come out. With the yellow stripe and the rainbow, build our confidence. LGBTQIA plus siblings in Christ. We all start at different times in our faith journey. And for this reflection in particular, our queer journey. I believe that the God who knows all the stars by name 
also cares deeply enough to be with you at all times through this coming out journey. Out Christ gives us permission to be comfortable during all stages, however that may look. Out Christ who is there when you first acknowledge that you are beautifully queer. Out Christ who is there when you first dismantle the idea of closet and let the world know that you are wonderfully and openly gay. Out Christ who is there to comfort you in the silence and in the loneliness when it, it is not safe to fully come out because your life is a sacred word. Let it be known that this gay journey is for you to shape, to decide, to know that no matter where you are, that you are beautifully and wonderfully and queerfully made in God's image. Amen. I will be your standing stone. I will stand by you. Go. Okay. Green is for love, the heart of, of spirit. Transgressive outlaw Christ. You are our heart, breaking rules out of love. In a world obsessed with purity, you touch the sick and eat with outcasts. Free us from conformity and grant us the, pe the grace of deviance. With the green stripe in the rainbow, fill our hearts with untamed compassion for all beings. Love is what binds people together in families, in communities, in groupings of all sorts. Yet, it is also what often calls us to reach beyond those divides and see our shared struggles. Love frequently pushes us past our comfort zones and demands bravery. Love does not follow any rules and can happen when we least expect it. The unconditional, overflowing, and unending love that Christ showed us is a powerful force that is frightening to live up to. Love is expressed in all sorts of ways. Sometimes it is as simple as an irresistible urge to hold someone's hand as you walk down the street. Other times it is a demand to join a protest march to hold society accountable. Love is seen in actions and in words. Love bursts out of us and is never quiet. Over the past few months, we have been challenged by a global pandemic that brought the world to a standstill. The pandemic highlighted and exacerbated the deep inequalities within our society, inequalities that we too often overlook. We too often think that someone else will take care of those problems and forget that we are called to be Christ's hands and feet in the world. We need to pass on and share the overflowing love of Christ with all of God's children. In Iowa and North Carolina, earlier this month, LGBTQ bars were raided and shot at for providing first aid services to protesters. Around the world, Protests have been inspired by and organized in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter protests in the United States. Many of these international protests were organized by marginalized communities that also face police brutality in their home countries. We have also seen how love for others has inspired so many from outside of marginalized communities to stand with them and say police brutality needs to stop. So let us go out and follow Christ's example by daring to show the world all the possibilities of love. Love that creates all sorts of different families. 
love that demands equal access to health care, love that inspires us to see the suffering happening beyond our daily lives. I will be your standing stone. I will stand by you. Blue. Blue is for self-expression, the voice of the Spirit. Liberator Christ, you are our voice, speaking out against all forms of oppression. Free us from apathy and grant us the grace of activism. With the blue stripe in the rainbow, motivate us to call for justice. Blue. Lavender blue, blueberries, the blue man group, bluebirds, blue moon, feeling blue. I got the blues. Screaming blue murder, blue moods, Blue skies. It looks like a storm is coming. Turning blue. I can't breathe. It looks like the storm is here. Dark grays and deep purples cover the blue skies like bruises. Bruises covering people of color, transgender women, indigenous peoples, immigrants, Bruises on the memories of all who were murdered because of who they are. Red, white, and blue scars obscuring justice. Bruises on the hands and the hearts of children of God. It feels, it feels like I've been holding my breath forever, waiting for the storm to pass, longing for blue skies until I can't hold my breath any longer. And so I breathe. I breathe for those who cannot breathe anymore. I breathe with those whose lives are choked by hate, greed, indifference. I breathe the deep blue presence of God. Each breath each breath brings us closer to the blueness of the sky, that bright blueness that is always there, even in the middle of a storm. Each breath of spirit moves us closer and closer to each other, to hope, to rainbow-hued glory as children of God. Blue. Blue skies. The storm will change us. Blue. I will be your standing storm. I will stand. for vision, the wisdom of spirit. Interconnected Christ, you are our wisdom, creating and sustaining the universe. Free us from isolation and grant us the grace of interdependence. With the violet stripe in the rainbow, connect us with others and with the whole creation. The vision, the wisdom of the spirit language, it sounds like a gentle force, right? Perhaps you imagine this soft breeze blowing a tree, their leaves lightly fluttering. In my life, the spirit speaks differently. Imagine one of those raining sideways days that we get every once in a while here in Southern California where the wind just keeps blowing the hood off of your rain jacket, forcing you to change directions just to avoid being carried off. When I think of the Holy Spirit, that is the one that I know. I served two churches in Alaska when I hadn't yet fully come out. 
and I felt isolated. And with that isolation came the reality that I couldn't be fully myself and I couldn't fully use all the gifts God had given me for ministry. I was a good pastor, but there was something missing. I spent so much energy protecting this side of myself, partially from safety, but also because isolation is comforting when it's the thing, uh, when the thing you're isolating is, is full of vulnerability and risk. At my final annual conference before I moved from Alaska, I was presented with a handmade plate so I'd always remember Alaska. And then I was offered the microphone to thank those who were there for me for the ways that they influenced my call to ministry. I thanked them with a rehearsed little mini speech and then I went off script and I blamed the Holy Spirit for this, that nothing gentle about it spirit that I know and usually love. I said this to end my little speech. Thank you for putting faith in this young queer female pastor. I came out to my entire annual conference and I did it by accident. And in doing that, in showing the full spectrum of who I am, my connection to those around me exploded in the most beautiful of ways. That one adjective queer, it doesn't define my whole being, but it does speak truth about who I am. And in naming that, whether on purpose or not, that naming of who I am connected me with the spirit in beautifully profound ways. Throughout the service today, you have experienced each color of the rainbow, bringing together different hues and tones and levels of brightness. Through the symbol of a rainbow, we can see the richness and the diversity of our beloved community. As we leave this place, may we feel grounded in our diversity and our oneness, created divinely by a God of love. May you feel the spirit in these words, in the words spoken today, speaking life and vision and wisdom, connecting us with one another and with the whole creation. Let us pray. Rainbow colors come together to make one light, the crown of universal consciousness. Hybrid and all-encompassing Christ, you are our crown, both human and divine. Free us from rigid categories and grant us the grace of interwoven identities. With the rainbow, lead us beyond black and white thinking to experience the whole spectrum of life. Rainbow Christ, you light up the world. You make rainbows as a promise to support all life on earth. In the rainbow space, we can see all the hidden connections between sexualities, genders, and races. Like the rainbow, may we embody all the colors of the world. Amen.
As we close our worship today, may the source of life hold you in the faith. The word of life speak clearly in truth around you and breath of life, of grace, of wisdom, sing in your utmost being this day and all your days. Amen. I will be your standing storm. I will stand.